Deep learning is a particular kind of machine learning and it addresses a famous problem in machine learning called the problem of representation. You see, um, many of these problems become relatively easy. For example, let's say computer vision, if you just had the right representation, one pixel in an image tells you very, very, very little about what's uh, in, in an image. If I just took one pixel of a picture of your face, it would be very difficult to tell what that was. But if you transform the data and, and transform it enough times, then you can get a very high level representation. Uh, for example, it might be, this is a face, this is a face of someone with brown hair or with blue eyes, and then I could recognize who that was given the high level features. Now, previously, before deep learning, people would hand design or hand engineer the mapping from raw inputs like pixels to features they could use. And then those features would be fed to a standard machine learning algorithm. The, the recent success of deep learning shows that you don't have to hand engineer. Then in fact, computers are actually better at engineering those features than uh, people are. So what you do is you take very large data sets and you learn how to transform uh, the raw data like pixels into high level representations. Um, uh, another nice thing about that is that uh, with the reason why it's called deep learning is that uh, it does it through successive layers of transformation. So it goes from a low level representation like pixels to edges to textures and whatnot. And that sort of emulates the way the brain is architected, that your, your brain itself, like in your visual system, is, is structured in layers. And, and as far as neurophysiologists know, that each layer is computing a uh, more complex function given the pr inputs from the previous layer. Deep learning does the same thing. That's why it's called deep.